Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. When I try to punch it, okay, oh, little bit of. No, no. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Tata Xenon XT. XT stands for Cross Terrain. This is not the key of the vehicle. This is the key of a Skoda car. But the key of this Tata car is very much similar. However, it's the replacement key. The original key wasn't like this. Anyways, opening the engine. Oh my goodness. This is extremely heavy. It says die core right there and the engine is extremely noisy as well. There's insulation right there as well and we're going to shut this as I shut. I see a lot of dust flying here and there. So this was launched, I think, forget about all this. Let's look at the vehicle. Now the design is kind of robust and nice. Everything is halogen here. Of course, that's the indicator. Grill is finished in chrome and uh, the fog light is missing here, but there's a reflector down here. Fog light is there, of course. Now this is a very long car. I think the wheelbase is more than three meters. Uh, the length is more than 5 meters, so yes, you can see this is actually a pickup truck and the wheels have been upsized on this car. Kind of looks nice and beefy from the side, of course. The wheels have been upsized 235, 70, 60 inch, that is steel rim, but finished in black looks quite nice. 3 litre Dicor written here, some yellow color finishing on the outside rear view mirrors. And this light is not working at the moment, but I think it will improve illumination. Of course, the antenna has gone for a vacation and, uh, you know, this has been driven so much that things have not been too kind to the car. You can see the leaf spring, which makes the ride very bad without load, of course. There it is, the leaf spring suspension. Good amount of ground clearance, body on frame platform, limited slip diff, LSD is there, of course. And the loading bay is actually quite nice as well with this sort of a cage treatment. Now, I can't really open it because this mechanism has failed. So, they have kind of tied it up right there. And there are no parking sensors, but there is a towing hook. The spare wheel is actually placed right here below, which is kind of full size it's actually full size there you can see the leaf thing again light is again very basic and small as such but yes this car is what 33 34 years old in terms of since when the xenon was launched when you go back to its predecessor which we'll talk about later when we're driving first and foremost you can actually recline this which isn't of much use i believe oh you can hide your car cover of course and center passenger does not get a hit although the floor is flat there's no center armrest either but the problem is now, nah, it's very uncomfortable because under thigh support is extremely poor. Headroom, although just about adequate, such a upright seating position. There's a hook as well as a handle. Seat belt gets the height adjust function, which is kind of surprising. There's a light on the top as well, and then handle, hook, and all that stuff is there. Proper seat belts are also given. You can see the dashboard design, it's kind of basic, but then again, the use of this car is for commercial purposes. Door pockets are big enough, and you get power windows on all the doors, of course. Nice chrome finishing. But you know what, it's a punishment for passengers to sit behind because it's very uncomfortable car because very uncomfortable a car because of the ride quality and the lack of space. Here, again, I'm just going to show you how much space difference can happen depending on where your seat is. And you get magazine holders slightly scooped out as well. Meanwhile, let's get to the front where you can see in order to increase the height, you just put some stuff here, blanket or something, and then your eyes will, uh, your height will start getting upwards. That's how you rise, still we rise. There's no dead pedal placement and this is, I think, some light and this is for, I don't know, maybe defogger and this is obviously the headlight leveler. Now, you see, doors do not have any buttons other than for outside rear view mirror adjustment, which is electric, which is nice. Door pockets are not that big as such. And then this is to open the fuel. Everything feels a little jugado in this car somehow. But power window controls are actually here in the center. Okay, that's the handbrake. Twin cup holders. There's a 12 volt charging socket for charging air conditioning. Audio system is very nice. Let me play some audio right away. Oh. Oh my god, audio quality is absolutely phenomenal. It says buckle up, which is the safety mechanism in this car to tell you to buckle up. There's storage space here and this is a lockable glove box. Obviously, plenty of hard plastic. This is the hazard light switch. Steering wheel is kind of awkward. It's too far ahead. Can it be adjusted? Yeah, it can be for height and yeah, that's about it. But still, it's too far ahead. The horn is kind of okay. You can see the vibrations. No auto dimming mirror, of course. There's a light placement here. There's a mirror right there. Is there a mirror here? No, there is none. And there's sort of a dummy for the handle, which is not present, of course. Now you can see the instrument cluster is again a very basic unit. Uh, you get a multi-information display which shows you the odometer along with twin trip meters. That's about it. That's the fuel meter. That is the temperature meter, speedometer, tachometer, and then telltale lights are placed almost everywhere. Let's just shut the indicator. I use the wipers. Okay, the spray is not working at the moment, but the wipers work decently well. Let's just shut the indicator for the moment did i turn on the hazard light i probably must have oh the door is open that's the reason it's doing all that can you shut yourself up wipers okay not the easiest to operate the wipers as such and yeah car has a lot of light. let me have it okay listen to this omg can you see that 
ओके आई जस्ट शो यू अगेन वेन आई रेव इट ओके या दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉट स्मोक इट एक्चुअली द प्रेशर इज पुटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ डस्ट बिकॉज यू स्टैंडिंग इन सैंड राइट नाउ ओ वी हैव अ फास्ट टैग एज वेल दिस अ क्लॉक प्लेसमेंट व्हिच इज काइंड ऑफ कूल एयर कंडीशनिंग या नॉट रियली वर्किंग द बेस्ट इज सच बट लॉट ऑफ वाइब्रेशंस देयर सम डमी बटन्स हियर या टू डमी बटन्स एज वेल एनीवेज लेट्स स्टार्ट ड्राइविंग दिस पिकअप ट्रक सॉरी सुजू so this is the key of the vehicle and this is actually to turn on the light so that you can spot the car but it obviously does not work it's a flip key let's turn it on and when i turn it on now you're going to listen to a massively massive roar i can't even find where the key hole is where is it ha huh, there it is and listen to this okay so into first gear revving the motor rev still almost 3000 rpm 3 and a half actually enough to go some amount of wheel spin on offer this is actually a decent LCV light commercial vehicle because it can obviously haul a lot of load but you know what the original dates back all the way till let me think uh, 1988 yes uh, it was launched as the Tata Telco line and then they had almost five names for it Tata TL Tata Load Beta Beta I don't know how you pronounce it and there was also something called as okay let's just see road less travel just get in wherever I feel like oh my god the steering wheel is a handful here but uh, they also called it uh, the Tata Mobile 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 I think the tata mobile was the name is this a road which i can take i don't know i don't care because i know i can go anywhere with this now 3 liter engine actually produces 114 horsepower and uh, 250 newton meters of torque resulting in decent performance steering rack is making some noise here of course and the steering wheel is on the heavier side bahut shake ho raha hai pedal bahut shake, shake to hoga that's fine it's okay into first gear first gear is so soggy you know it doesn't tell you it's happened anyways i'm going to take it a bit slow because i want to tell you it was also known as the tata mobile 206 i think it was also known as the tata 207 it was known as the tata telco line which is the original name and then it was also known as the tata tl Oh my god I'm getting a burp. <laughs> it has so many freaking names it's kind of crazy and they did not continue the name as Tata Telco line in 2006 when they decided to launch the second generation model and known as the Xenon because they wanted to keep the Telco line name as it is but the names were different depending on where it was sold. So in India I think it was largely known as the same Telco line and then it obviously it's based on the X2 platform which by the way uh, the original was also based but here they made a lot of changes in terms of a lot of things actually just to make it much better and yes definitely it is better but still there's a lot of room for improvement obviously this is not Compete with the Tata, sorry, Toyota Hilux. Oh my God, you can see the bounciness. Handling is not great because there's a lot of body roll, but then you can really push it along. You can see bad roads, not an issue because it has that rugged feel of a body-on-frame platform. The X2 platform obviously underpins it. And oh my goodness, okay, don't worry. We actually took the Skoda Rapid from here, so this is no big deal for this car, of course. And then because the road is such, it's obviously going to tram line. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, but that is the fun of driving something like this. It's absolutely Please. Okay, they came up with a 2.2 liter Dacor engine which had 140 horsepower, and then in export market they also gave it 150 horsepower. Lot of vibrations, lot of rattles, fighting the steering wheel all the given time. Oh my goodness! Yeah, tank capacity is around 60 to 65 liters. But then talking about performance, get on hard on the throttle. It has a good low end, decent mid range, no top end because red lines are just three and a half thousand rpm, which is kind of too soon as well. But then it kind of glides at certain speeds, which is very nice indeed. So yeah, like I was telling you, the price. I was not telling you that, but still, I'll tell you the price. How do we go like this? The price is somewhere around nine uh, to eleven lakh rupees. I think the price is obviously extra, which I'm talking about. By the way, the Telco line actually started life with a diesel engine from Persia, which was an NA engine. Okay, similar engines also came to the Sierra, and then that obviously developed its own diesel engine, the three liter Dacor and the two point two liter Dacor, which is amazing, of course. The two point two one. This one gets the job done. It's very noisy. There's no concept of refining. Here. and obviously the steering wheel is so freaking heavy as well the horn you can press it from both the sides so we can actually do an orchestra right there now the most important thing is it also got oh my goodness oh my goodness so it also got got a petrol engine option for export markets i think a 2.1 liter uh, unit and then it also had a cng option so you name an engine tata put it in this car they like sab le lo tum sab okay there's some water there so we're going to splashy splashy here holy holy oh my goodness that's nice but wipers they work yeah they do that's another achievement here uh, it's kind of a handful to drive it's best for commercial applications with a lot of load behind and the leaf springs obviously work and give a fantastic right quality as well now if i'm going to take a u turn it's going to be an absolute bitch of sort but we shall try because that's what we do best fuel efficiency should be around 9 to 11 kilometers per liter again depending on your driving style with your wheel you would expect it to like kind of spin but no it does not spin any 
it because it doesn't have that level of grunt also that you know it's going to scare you silly or something of that sort yeah no reverse camera none of that bullshit here still it's not that heavy at low speed i thought it's going to be heavy but then at certain speed it kind of feels heavy and high speed stability is very good because it doesn't reach a high speed at all top speed is actually 120 kilometers per hour which is decent and more than apt for the job but you're not going to drive more than that because then you're going to like all your load is going to fall down somewhere or the other into first gear nuren says it's not for human means well it was designed for humans or designed by humans so oh, i was actually going to go there <laughs> i thought that's a turn and off we go water water here we come it's splashy splashy not a problem little bit bouncy feel which is kind of expected as well and then when i try to punch it okay a little oh, bit of no, no. Ah. oh my goodness Desert, absolutely crazy i did not see any of that my I'm camera has come you. off i didn't know that oh I think we've broken a few things. I didn't know the bump was that it bad. It was that bad, and I'm telling you, it was a fessel. Oh, I thought we were gonna. I've broken it. broken something in my body. I think this is the right or what? We jumped, and this my is the neck right. Is, I have no idea, but my neck is oh. gone. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know the bump is going to be that bad. It is, of course. There can, was such can you see the camera? It's fine. I'll just finish the vlog. Are you for real? मतलब लोग मरे गए गिरे कुछ भी करे ये वोट भी नहीं इसका vlog. Okay. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Huh? It is going. Wow. It's Love. fine. Yeah. The camera is still fine. Camera is fine, but my left foot actually went into this freaking yeah, center console. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some light which is coming, a warning light. So we just went too fast. I I did not anticipate that bump. It could not be seen. It's actually too bright, so things cannot be seen so well. Oh my God! Oh, oh, oh. We almost escaped an accident. Uh, it was not going to be an accident oh. as such, but you know what? The ride is so bad now. You can feel a lot more on the inside than it actually the case on the outside. Never mind. We shall try and take it easy peasy. So guys, <laughs> this Tata Zeno one is best not driven by people who are used to private cars because this is very rough and has to be driven very slow. Slowly, and I was driving slowly only, but the bump came. Now the bump is coming. We have to open and down. And you need better eyesight also for driving. Ah, uh, yeah, you need better eyesight actually. <laughs> you need Ow. a 360 degree camera to tell you that there is something coming out because every bump can be felt inside. That is how terrible the ride quality and is. You need better uh, body mobility also. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, you see the kind of sweat on my hand at the moment, but still, yeah, this way it rugged. It took everything in its stride. Only thing it kind of broke everyone inside <laughs> the vehicle. Uh, is the camera fine or not? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, are you fine or not? The end cap rating of my body is zero right now. <laughs> the end cap rating of this vehicle will also not be that great as such. But hey, anyways, the the reason why this has been made, uh, it really fulfills its duty properly. I never expected to jumpy, jumpy, uh, roly poly like that. Obviously, there's a lot of body roll on offer, and then I'm not. I guess you need to stop. My head is pain. All right, so we are just going to end this vlog right away. Thank you so much for watching. As you got it, this vehicle is good only for commercial applications. If someone buys it for private use, well, they making a mistake for sure. Cause it's just too. How do I put it? Uh, yeah, it's too rough. And too uh, difficult to drive as well because you have to really drive it super slow to actually make anything out of it. Bye bye. क्या हुआ? Window अब खोल दो. I, I'm not doing anything. It bounces everywhere. कुछ नहीं कर रहा मैं इतना स्लो चला रहा हूँ My head hit this, you know that? How did your head hit Because that? Because you jumped over it, and I don't have anything for my grip steering wheel. ये कुछ नहीं है. मैं ऐसे ऐसे सब जगह गई मेरे neck और head दोनों hit हो गया. Just so that you know, nothing happened to the car at all. It's the same as before. Only thing is we are little broken now. <laughs>